Well, hello everybody. This is my 99 Sportster Custom. And you know what? <clears throat> well, it's a 25 year old bike. It runs really good. Now I've replaced the drag bars with stock bars. Makes it much more comfortable. But saddle tramp was right. You buy an old Harley and he's got older ones than this. But <clears throat> there are great opportunities for making content. Well, if you hadn't watched the earlier video, the headlight quit working on my Sportster. So I strapped this, what they call a headlight, but it's, you know, obviously one that's supposed to strap to your head so you can see what you're doing. Well, that got me home. And since both high beam and low beam quit working at the same time, and they had been working fine, I think it is more than likely the headlight relay than the bulb. But I do plan on checking the bulb also. And down on the kickstand, you know, a simple little thing on this that spring is loose when the when the kick stands up it allows it to hang down a little ways and when I first got it the turn signals were working but on the left the indicator wasn't working now the left turn signal isn't working I put a new bulb in the back and the front bulb lights up when you turn the headlight or the turn signal on but it doesn't flash but you can see that they're not aimed the same because the one on the left came loose and I tightened it but didn't have it lined up properly and Right up here is your light indicator. It'll indicate for turn signals, for high beam, for neutral, and then oil pressure. The uh, high beam indicator was on whether it was on high beam or low beam. Didn't matter. The left turn signal indicator never worked the right one works so there's some possible repairs some of it will go to the dealer to get repaired when i take it there this winter to have it stored there i put new tires on myself front and rear i was worried about the front one because it was losing air and I'd rode it and it'd sit for a month or so. And I filled it back up, but it went flat within a few days. Luckily for me, I didn't quite have the uh, valve stem core in there tight enough to turn about an eighth of a turn. It's been holding there well ever since. On the rear tire, I counted the threads on the adjuster nuts so that it would go back to the same adjustment but I think the belt might be a little loose yet but <clears throat> I'll have them set the tension when it goes in for overwinter storage at the Harley dealer now I put on this LED tail light because the one that was on there it was an LED aftermarket cheapy and it was so dim in the daylight you can hardly tell that it was on and even when you hit the brake you could barely see it so I replaced this one this is another cheapy it's an Amazon but it is much brighter so if I hit the brakes you know it because I hated not having a brake light that, you know, it was so dim that it was no good. 
and I did put this Mustang seat on it. I love Mustang seats. This is the third one I've had. I had one on a VTX 1800R that was a touring seat. And this is a wide touring seat. And I really like the backrest being on there. I did order a luggage rack for this off of Amazon. Yes, it's a cheapie. But it'll do the trick. It's not like I plan on carrying much on there. And here's another cheap Amazon piece, the gas cap. But the other one, it was no okay looking, but you could hardly get a grip on it. It was real thin and you could hardly grip it. Where this has got the cross here and see that allows you to grip it real easy to get it off and on. But like I said, Saddle Tramp knows his Harleys, and yeah, and I know other brands can give you problems too. I'm not knocking Harleys, I'm just saying that they give you the opportunity to make some content. So everybody, have a good day.